The Private Papers of Henry Rycroft by George Gissing is a contemplative work that blends fiction with memoir, providing a profound exploration of solitude, nature, and the passage of time. The book is structured as a series of reflections and journal entries by the fictional Henry Rycroft, an aging writer who has retired to the countryside. Through Rycroft's introspective musings, Gissing delves into themes of literary life, personal fulfillment, and the human condition. One of the central themes in The Private Papers of Henry Rycroft is the contrast between urban and rural life. Rycroft's relocation from the bustling city to the tranquility of the countryside symbolizes a retreat from the chaos and superficiality of urban existence to a simpler, more authentic way of living. This shift highlights Gissing's own disillusionment with modernity and industrialization, reflecting a longing for a return to nature and a slower pace of life. Rycroft's appreciation for the natural world is evident in his detailed descriptions of the changing seasons, the beauty of the landscape, and the joy he finds in simple pleasures like gardening and walking. Through these passages, Gissing evokes a sense of pastoral idol, contrasting sharply with the grim realities of city life. Gissing also explores the theme of aging and the passage of time. Rycroft's reflections on his past, his present solitude, and his inevitable mortality are tinged with both nostalgia and melancholy. He recalls his struggles as a young writer, the hardships he endured, and the fleeting moments of happiness and success. These recollections are not merely personal anecdotes but serve as a meditation on the universal human experience of aging. Rycroft's acceptance of his declining years and his contentment with his modest, quiet life offer a poignant commentary on the nature of fulfillment and the search for meaning in life's later stages. The book is also a meditation on the literary life and the writer's vocation. Rycroft's reflections on his career as a writer reveal Gissing's own ambivalence about the literary world. There is a recurring tension between the idealism of literary creation and the harsh realities of the publishing industry. Rycroft expresses a sense of disenchantment with the commercial aspects of writing, lamenting the compromises and pressures that often accompany the pursuit of literary success. Yet, despite these misgivings, he remains deeply committed to the craft of writing, finding solace and purpose in the act of creation itself. This duality captures the complex relationship many writers have with their profession, balancing passion with pragmatism. The introspective and episodic nature of the book allows for a rich exploration of Rycroft's inner life. The format of journal entries creates an intimate, conversational tone, drawing readers into Rycroft's thoughts and emotions. This structure also reflects the fragmentary and nonlinear nature of memory, as Rycroft moves fluidly between past and present, weaving together personal anecdotes, philosophical reflections, and observations of the world around him. Gissing's prose is elegant and lyrical, imbuing Rycroft's musings with a quiet beauty and depth. In The Private Papers of Henry Rycroft, Gissing ultimately presents a nuanced and deeply human portrait of a man seeking peace and meaning in a world that often seems indifferent to individual suffering and aspiration. The book's reflective tone and its themes of nature, aging, and the literary life resonate with readers who appreciate introspective and contemplative literature. Through Rycroft, Gissing offers a poignant exploration of the solitary pursuit of happiness and the enduring quest for understanding in the face of life's inevitable challenges.